Hey guys, Boris Lasser from BK Forex. Welcome to our daily Forex technicals. Euro dollar preps for Draghi for 6613. Trading for an exchange on margin cares high level risk, and obviously, will for all investors. I ask you to read this discussion very carefully, understand all of the rest of the trading market margin. Seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. All right, let's take a look at the euro and see what's going on. Euro got rejected again and again and again at the 31 level. This is the um, it's an hourly chart, and you can see this is like one, two, three, four. Really, almost five times we, we, we got uh, blown out at 31 level. At the same time, though, and this is an interesting thing, there's a true battle between the, the bulls and the bears. Yes, we're getting capped at 31, but we're also getting bought at 3050. So this, this whole consolidation really has been going on unbelievable, like almost uh, four days. Um, between 3050 and 3100, um, whoever wins tomorrow is probably going to be the telling sign for which way we go. So obviously we have the ECB meeting tomorrow. We'll see if... Um, if that has a major impact, it could have volatility one way or the other. In other words, it could, we could flush down, come right back up. It's one of those kind of things that you really need, need to be watched very carefully. The first reaction usually is not the true reaction. So um, I would be watching this. Uh, I would watch for the first half hour post ECB in order to get a clear idea of where we stand. Maybe there will be a non-event as well. Uh, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard to say that he's going to say anything new um, at this point. Um, obviously, the key thing that everybody's looking for is negative interest rates. If he doesn't really say anything about that. And he puts more of a bullish spin on, on the events in Europe. Um, Europe may actually start to rally off of this thing. So we'll see how it goes. But at this point, it's really being pushed and pulled from two directions. 30, 3,150 uh, 50 is the key range. I doubt we're going to be able to break that through Asia, but we'll be watching that very carefully um, ahead of the move. Yet, on the other hand, there's been a slide down. And, and now we're coming right back to a double, double bottom test of the 99s. Data today out of the U.S. was weak. Um, and suggest that maybe the NFPs are going to be weak as well. So this is a 99, I think it's 98.85 is the, um, let me just make sure that I have the right one. Yeah, 98.86.85 is the spike low here out of the yen. That's the, that's the key level of test to the downside. The upside now, the 100 becomes the cap. Uh, 100 was kind of support, now it becomes resistance. Look at this. It failed at 100 a couple of times here, and now it becomes uh, the first level of resistance for the trade back up to the upside. Um, yen. Very likely going to be trading off of Nikkei flows again today. We get a negative. We get a negative move on the Nikkei. We could see 98.50 uh, before Asia uh, closes up shop. Cable, on the other hand, probably one of the best trades around right now in terms of high beta. It looks much stronger. We took out the 54s at the end of the um, North American session and still holding above the 54s. We've had three positive re reports out of um, UK. So we'll have to see how cable trades out for the rest of the. Um, night uh, given the fact that you got positive cable flows and possibly of course if you have negative uh, negative ecb news um the euro where's my euro pounds euro pound could be a very interesting look it's it's already kind of slushing down towards the 85s but a much a very very negative resolution on the euro is definitely going to push um, euro pound to the downside so it's worth watching it to see if we can let me just go to the longer term chart see where we can go but a break of the 85s opens up back up to 8450s and really almost um Almost a retest of back up to 8420s on a longer term chart. That's kind of an um, interesting counter euro play um, outside of the pure euro uh, euro movement. Last but not least, Aussie pretty much, pretty much bringing up the rear. We um, prodded, prodded, prodded the um, 9525s today. And um, of course, we have trade data tonight. It's not very, very moving usually, but you never know what kind of flows we have. Um, the break of 95s could have tremendous amount of optionality behind it. It could be a torrent to the downside, or it could just be a fake out. So I would not be playing the break of 95 right then and there because uh, I would be watching you very carefully because, as I said, an, it, it could be a notorious fake out where everybody trips the 95s and then it pops it right back up. So watch it carefully. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on today. Tremendous amount of uh, both level trades and uh, news trades going on into the next 24 hours, keeping our eyes on all the levels, 99 in, in yen, 95 in Aussie, 31 in euro and 54 in pound. Uh, all the best, Borch Lasberg over and out.